What's going on people, I'm Marcus B Gaming and here's part 2 with some opinions on the most underrated guns in season 13. Thanks for watching and for more like this, double tap those 7 bell buttons. Let's go. Let's kick the list off with the third Axiom Energy Pulse. It's a 390 RPM that's consistent and comes with some good perks. It reminds me of the Bygones Pulse, and some of y'all know that was one of the best before it was sunsetted. You get this rifle as a random drop from completing strikes in the playlist. Next, for my fusion people, don't sleep on Trinary System. This solar fusion is an adaptive frame, but if you roll a damage perk like high impact reserves, it's a consistent killer, and with its short charge time, it's more forgiving if you miss. It's solid in both PvP and PvE, and you can only get it from completing Gambit matches. You probably have a few of these while you were chasing the guy roll bottom dollar, let's be real. So why not try it out, right? Now let's move on to the Rat King Exotic Sidearm. This has never been a bad sidearm. Being able to go stealth mode after getting the kill and reloading is a good look in whatever mode you play in. Throwing the catalyst for health regen when you go invis and less recoil, that makes this baby so much more clutch. You can get it from the Lost Light Kiosk in the tower if you want it. Next up is the Duality Solar Shoddy. This exotic was just okay when it came out, but it's cool because it's a slug shoddy when you aim and a regular shoddy when you hit fire. It got a range buff and reworked to its Black Wings perk that makes it a lot more competitive with other shoddies now. It can almost kill at the ranges of Chaperone, almost, but can be used as a regular shoddy too. It's worth a try especially with a Felwinter's nerf coming soon, and you get it from the kiosk at the tower. Last on the list is the Polaris Lance Exotic Scout. Y'all know Scouts recently got a buff and Polaris was good before, but it's even more of a beast now. And when you're 3 tapping people in Crucible, you'll see what I mean. It feels good and it's pretty damn accurate. I've always loved Polaris and I love it even more now. It's available at the kiosk if you want to pick it up and see for yourself. Alright, those are just my opinions people. Thanks for asking for a part 2 and check the card or the end if you missed part 1. Hit the comments and let me know if you want to see a part 3. And more importantly, please drop your underrated list. I love seeing y'all opinions and I will respond. If you like the vid, like, share, subs, and support always helps the channel. Thanks y'all. I'm out.